Hey, welcome to Game Changer. I'm David Villa. I'm here with Diana Villa. And today we're going to talk about character makes a difference. Character makes a difference. And I uh, want to kind of compare character to charisma and um, kind of look at the two and, and really just analyze not just the difference, but the need for both of them in life, in business, in what we do, but which one should we focus on? And really character makes the difference. Charisma is easy, right? Character is something that we have to cultivate. So when we cultivate character, right, we build strong families, uh, we go further in the long run, both in life and business. So uh, cultivating character focuses on a foundation. And, you know, um, you know, we talked a lot about this before when you look at foundation. When I think of foundations, I immediately, my mind goes to skyscrapers and I begin to think about, um, you know, something that is growing high in the air, right? It's, they're beautiful. Um, we're enamored with the way they look and how high they grow. But a skyscraper that goes a thousands, thousands of feet into the air goes hundreds of feet into the ground. And so as a business leader, let's look at this from a standpoint of a business leader uh, first, right? It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of success. But as a Christian, we know God values our character above all else. And Proverbs 22.1 says, A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. So charisma can help you gain attention and admiration, but character is what truly sets you apart. Uh, 1 Samuel, Diana, 16, 7 reminds us of this, the story of David, where Samuel is told by God to go to the house of Jesse, that one of his sons will become the next king. And he walks in and immediately Samuel is attracted to what all of us are attracted to. He is attracted to the warriors. He's attracted to the success, the resume of Jesse's oldest sons. And he goes to Eliab and Shammah and goes down the line. And God says, you know, look, I've rejected him. And 1 Samuel 16, 7 reminds us, the Lord does not look at the things that people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So it's easy to become enamored with the idea of success, but we must remember God's definition of success is different from the world's. And uh, Matthew 16, 26, Jesus says, what good will it be for someone to gain the world yet forfeit their soul? So let's look at charisma versus character. So I think um, charisma obviously is something that will initially attract you to somebody. So when you meet someone, it's their charisma that says, that kind of pulls you in like, hey, I want to get to know this person. Hey, I want to be around this person. But um, character is that inward and it's usually framed by your morals, your your upbringing, hopefully your spiritual beliefs and your faith. And so it's it's framed by that where charisma is just your personality, who you are, what, you know, all that exterior. So I think, um, you know, charisma will open a lot of doors for you, but it's really character that keeps you there and having that character. Character is what you do when nobody's watching. I think charisma is what you do is what is done that everybody sees. So, um, you know, I, I think that ultimately, yes, charisma is going to attract us to people, places, um, groups, um, but it's really going to be the character and the integrity of that that's going to, you know, hold us to say, Hey, is this something I really want to link up with? So right. you, we should link up for the people. I think we're attracted by charisma, but we should link up to things based on character and integrity. Yeah. Character is the foundation of great leadership and it is what will sustain you and I through the ups and downs of life and business and charisma makes us stand out for a moment. But character is what sets us apart really for a lifetime. And that's what we're going for, right? We're going for a legacy. We're going for longevity. So we can't let the pursuit of success, right, blind us to the importance of character. And I've done that in my life. I mean, you know, I've seen that. Um, and it's a pitfall. It's a downfall because you're right. Charisma is something that it, man or, or, per, or humans gravitate towards, you know, where character is something that God gravitates towards. And um, so we have to prioritize character over everything else. A lack of character as a believer will keep, in you, keep you from reaching your full potential in Christ. Uh, Proverbs 28, 6 says, better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. 
So character in God's eyes will keep you going around the mountain. Um, you know, there was a lack of character in my life over the course of time where there was a plethora of, of charisma, but that lack of character kept me going around the mountain. And, um, you know, God is not going to turn a blind eye. Man will look beyond your character issues to your giftings and talent, your charisma. God looks beyond your charisma and your gifts and talent and looks at the heart. Um, so we have to strive to build character and lead with integrity, right? Knowing in God's eye, our character is what truly matters. Well, I think also if, as employers, as you know, maybe people that are leading people in small groups or in, in church or ministry, um, I think we have to be careful to uh, make sure that we are investing in people based on um, their character and not what they can offer you. So I think that, you know, sometimes we are attracted to people because of their charisma, but then our motive. So it's not just about the person that's their character or charisma, but also us personally, are we attracted to that person? Um, are we drawn to that person? I should say, cause when I think of attractive, I think of like more relationship, but are we drawn to that person because of their charisma and what they can do for you? Or are you drawn to that person because of their charisma, but then they have that character. A lot of times we steer away from people that have, cause I think, character is is should be grounded in your morals and your faith and sometimes especially if we're not in a good space we will steer away from people that have good character and integrity because we don't really want to give them the liberty to speak into those things that you know uh, that maybe would challenge us in in our faith and or in you know, hey this is the right way we want to steer away with people so i think that's another thing you no know, what place you're at in life. If you're in a, a, a situation of indecision of what to do, make sure you are being drawn to people that have good character um, that will lead you, not because of what they can gain from you, but because they see the God potential in you and they will have caused you to pursue God's best for your life, not because they have something to gain in return. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it does. And you know, I was thinking as you were talking, no amount of education, no amount of experience, no amount of charm can compensate for a lack of compare a character or strength. Um, so it doesn't really matter, you know, that you went to Harvard, Yale. It doesn't matter that you, you know, have this resume. It doesn't matter that you look this way or that you have X amount of money. No amount of education, no amount of experience, no amount of charm will compensate for a lack of character strength. Proverbs 10, 9 says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. So a lack of character will ultimately hinder you and I as believers from reaching our full potential in Christ. And I want to bring something up too, when it comes to charisma, the charisma of character charismatic leaders is enticing, but we have to remember that it doesn't stem solely from positional power. Charismatic leadership is born out of perceptions. You know, this is important in a day of social media, right? It's born out of perceptions that the followers hold of the leader. So it's, it's, it's the Instagram reel, right? It's the, it's the, it's the post. It's, it's the, um, it's the, used to be the, the photo moment, right? Um, it's the, the family photo on the wall, so to speak, but now that's done so regularly and posted so regularly and, um, you know, and put out so regularly for people to see. The reality is that's a lot of times where charisma comes in. It's not based on, um, it's based on the perception the followers have of the leader. It's the ability to inspire, right? And, and, and foster dedication within others going beyond, what is expected. However, true charisma is not sustained by charm alone. It must be rooted in a foundation of character because ultimately, I believe your character will tell on you. When you're when you're pressed, and we talk about this over the last It'll, few weeks. Charisma opens the door, but character is what holds you. So the charisma will be that thing that'll attract people, but without the character, it won't keep those doors open. There's yeah. people in our lives, right? We can hurt people. The fact of the matter is if we um, operate out of solely charisma and don't keep our character in check, unfortunately, what God gifted us with, with character, I mean, I'm sorry, with charisma, that those those things, that pers- parts of our personality, if we're not careful what God actually gave us to help um, further our purpose in God will actually become a weapon and actually hurt people yeah. and uh, steer people away from 
the Lord versus drawing them in. There's going to be ca- there's going to be casualties. <laughs> there's casualties, um, you know, to, to that that come along with that, and that's that's a great point. And you know, but but I, want, but I don't want to dog out charisma. So those of you that are watching, you know, we're not against charisma because, as Diana mentioned, you know, God, it's God that gives you those gifts. It's the thing is that He gave you to you as a gift. So so let me think of this for a second. We give gifts to our children that we want them to enjoy. We want them to have those gifts. We give, we don't give a gift to our child and then say, you know, this is a gift, but you know, don't hold it close. Don't, don't, don't enjoy it. No, the reality is, you know, we want them to enjoy it. God wants us to enjoy the gifts, the charisma, the talents that he's given us. But when we put those above character is where the issue is. So here's, here's the answer. I think we have to prioritize character alongside charisma. So charisma and character aren't against one another. So it's the, so we're, we're talking about character versus charisma. I don't want you to think that the two are combating, right? The two are not designed to combat. They're designed to complement. But I, I, I was looking at it more from a viewpoint of let's look at character versus let's look at charisma. But really, they're designed to walk hand in hand. They're, they're, they're to walk alongside of one another. We align ourselves when we do this with God's desires for our leadership. So if he's gifted you with charisma and he's put the gift of leadership on the inside of you or the gift of, you know, um, you know, parenting on the inside of you, the gift of a, to be an effective spouse, those types of things, to, to be a communicator, whatever it is, then his desire is for your charisma to to, to walk alongside and your character to walk alongside one another. And it's Proverbs 16, I don't want to read this, reminds us, better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. So our success should never come at the expense of our integrity because God values leaders who exhibit honesty, humility, and righteousness. I think that's probably one of the hardest parts when you have a lot of charisma. Um, humility is a hard thing. A hard thing. Hard. Super hard. And um, Even if you want it to be, if you want to be humble, sometimes it is hard because people will people will speak into that gifting. It is very difficult to. So it really boils back down to um, a gifting or charisma without being led by the Holy Spirit will fade. It will be temporary. It will give short term uh, feel goods or short term results. Yep. And so it really comes down to our charisma has to be led by the Holy Spirit yep. To, to be lasting and to hold us and to keep us in um, outside of what voices that say, hey, how great you are. The fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter how talented you are without the Holy Spirit living and working in you and guiding you, even with our talents, with great intentions, you know, could be our demise, that could be our failure. So, you know, it's one of those things like when we talk about relations, the thing that draws you to someone often becomes the irritant. The very thing that God can use to 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 promote you or or put you in this position can be the very thing without being led by the Holy Spirit to, that will also take you out. So, so in conclusion, let's remember, okay, charisma may attract attention, and inspire momentarily it is character that sustains and transforms so as leaders we must strive for integrity ensuring that our actions align with our beliefs right that our mouth is is lining up with our heart that we're not writing a check that our bottom can't cover so to speak right um and we have to and we have to strive for God's guidance. And I, and that's what I really, you know, to cultivate character that reflects his love, wisdom, and righteousness, because it's through character that we truly fulfill our leadership potential. Diana, there's a prayer there. Can you just pray over everyone listening right now? Um, and just, uh, just let's believe God that we'll begin to view character more importantly than charisma and realize really that they complement one another. You know, I just want to say one thing before I do that is uh, a few, it might have been a month ago in a small, a lady's small group that I'm part of, um, we talked about balancing life. And so when I think of balance, I always think about that, the two weights and this middle thing and you're trying to balance. And um, someone brought up a thing, you know, it's like we, we're worrying about balancing, but when we balance, a lot of times one side's heavier than the other. But they said, rather than view it from that perspective, why not view it from finding harmony and all those areas? And so I think that if you keep um, character and charisma within harmony of 
of and leading of the Holy Spirit, it'll make a beautiful. I don't want to say picture because I guess we're talking about music, but a beautiful song. It'll play well together. And so knowing that it, it blends. So, um, Father, we just thank you for reminding us the importance of character and leadership. Help us to prioritize integrity, honesty, and righteousness above all else. Guide us in our businesses, our endeavors, and may we lead with hearts aligned with your will. In Jesus' name. And that's not just for leaders, guys. That's whatever role. You are leading a family. You are leading a, a, a spouse. You are leading whoever that you're impacting. So it's not just leading. It's, it's about who you're impacting, who is in your inner circle, that you have the ability to to keep those things true so that why so that based on your charisma but grounded in your integrity and in your character you can lead people to christ yes lord hey thank you guys so much for hanging out with us make sure you click the bell on youtube subscribe click the bell so you're notified of our podcast when they drop they drop every wednesday at 10 a.m eastern and also we are live or we're actually on spotify and apple as well at 10 o'clock eastern on wednesdays and uh, if you would make sure you subscribe and tell somebody about the podcast if you're on social media tag us we'd love to um, uh, hear from you. We love the testimonies. We hear from people, uh, our listeners and, and the viewers all the time. And uh, we love seeing what God does in your life. If you have not already, uh, make sure you download the Game Changer app. You can find it anywhere apps are. And it is done by searching Game Changer by IPD Agency. And uh, you can be part of our community. And uh, we have a ton of resources there as well. Love you guys. And we will see you next time on Game Changer Podcast. Game Changer.